Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Road to Ranked Roulette series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and we are here our final day in our weekly cycle of our Road to Ranked Roulette series. Make sure you do, before anything, go over to our community section of the channel and get your nominations in for next week's selections for that roulette wheel team. And um, I'm hoping your selection does come out. Thank you so much for all the continuous nominations that we do get. And be persistent, like I say. A lot of people before this week had been voting for the same Pokemon week on week. And it never came out until this week, and it finally did. So thank you to each and every one of you. Go over there, check it out, nominate for next week. And I am already excited to see what selection of Pokemon we're going to bring out in the roulette wheel next week. But before we get into anything today... We didn't have the best of episodes yesterday. We're sitting on five losses, three wins. So we're in distance to tie things up and finish at least even going into this week with this squad, which I feel like it needs to do. Um, what I'm going to do is actually activate our randomizer button. I'm not going to activate both buttons today. I'm going to activate just our randomizer today. So I'm going to throw over to the wheel to select one Pokemon from the team to be taken out and then one Pokemon for the wheel the roulette wheel to select to bring in so I'm a bit nervous about this let's see what the roulette wheel is going to take out for us this week it's Haxorus the one thing that has been doing a lot of work I've loved Haxorus this week but it has gone out okay let's see what we're going to bring in let's head back over to the wheel and see what the selection is going to be Charizard! Okay, thank you so much for the nomination, Nappy. Charizard into the team. Um, I think, basically, what I'm going to do is really mix the team up. Okay, we're sticking along the Dragon theme, of course, that we've had all week long. Um, and because we had the selection and the nomination about God of War earlier in the week being scarfed, we had Haxra scarfed earlier in the week. So I'm going to change the God of War to a scarf set, take the Mega away, and I'm going to actually run... Mega Charizard X. I think it's a cool option to have in the team. So here's the team. The team is down in the description below. There is a roll paste, poker paste. If you want to check out the details, have a look, peruse over it. We've changed a few things around with the team. We've taken Guillotine off the crab. Give it ally switch there just to give the team a little bit more stability to get around some really big weaknesses that we've got there. We've kept the wide guard there. The Salazzle stayed the same with the Taunt, the Poison EMZ. We've got Char, Char X here, so that's going to be a nice addition to the team. We've also got that nice ground immunity finally here to the team. We've got the Scarf Guard of War here with Trick. Uh, Destiny Bond as well. Going to be able to do some decent damage and disrupt opponents. Uh, same Curum and same Palkia. So without further ado, let's get into today's episode. Let's get a couple of wins today. That would be incredible. Music is on. We're ready to go. If you do enjoy this content, as always, guys, please remember to drop a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel and do leave your comments down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on the games that we've been playing and have played this week and what your thoughts are on this week's today's episode as well. Because I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on um, how the team's been performed from your eyes. We've had some incredible episodes this week. You know, I'm not going to dampen it by our score. Our score is not the main thing that we're concentrating on here. Of course, we'd like to be doing better, but in a, in a format which is established, full of solid teams, it's always going to be difficult when you're using just randomly selected teams with <laughs> no theory behind why they're put together and trying to make them work. But that's the beauty about the series. That's why it's fun. That's why it's enjoyable. We get to use these crazy Pokemon and just have a lot of fun with them. So we're searching for our first opponent. It's going to take. Ah, it's not. There we go. Dominic from Germany. First opponent straight over into team preview. So our first opponent today running a team of Tapu Lele, Crobat, Sogaleo, Kyogre, Metagross, and Klefki. It's got all the st all the steals, all the steals. Someone doesn't like Xerneas, I feel. You've got uh, some really hard checks here. Restricted combination between the Sogaleo and the Kyogre there. Um, possibly scoffed Lele, I always say this. Uh, Tailwind support definitely from the Crobat. You could have Trick Room support from the Sogaleo. Probably going to be Mega Metagross. And then the Klefki with that Prankster ability you can cause all sorts of issues for us. Um, So... Gardevoir has a tough time here, as well as Curum. Um, man, 
we can get a trick room up though, it will make thing it make life so much easier for us. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it straight away though, uh, with something like Crobat potentially sitting on the field. We could bring Charizard, and um, that might be nice, and and Curum as well could be a decent option there. Uh, I'm inclined to bring Kingdra. Um, Kingla could be good to help us set the trick room up late game with Palkia and clean up. So they're the selections I'm going to go for. I'm not bringing the God of War here, but we will we will uh, we'll select these four and hop straight in. And good luck to my opponent. <sighs> Let's see if we can get off the mark today. I feel like we're desperate for a win. I don't like coming off the back of an episode with two losses. I never do. I never like losing at the best of times. Um, but you know what? It doesn't matter as long as we're having fun with it that's the main thing and as long as you guys are enjoying it as well we're gonna see double steel come out here Klefki and Metagross for my opponent as we lead off with a delicious Charizard and lovely huge wired up Kyurem White with its Turbo Blaze ability um oh could we go Dragon Dance we haven't got Flare Blitz on the the char because the one thing that I didn't want to do was be like useless against Kyogre and at least if we got Thunder Punch we can do something it does make us a bit um, worse off against things like Metagross um, I'm gonna go Earth Power just in case we see Kyogre switch in onto the Metagross and uh, we're gonna see the Metagross switch straight out we're gonna see Kyogre come in so good job we didn't go for that Fusion Flare we could have went into the Clef Key uh, but Metagross gonna bide its time for later on in this match probably a little bit scared of uh, the potential flare blitz from the uh, the Charizard or overheat or whatever potentially coming out from from that side but uh, we will see the Kyogre um, come in <coughs> the earth power is going to be invaluable damage here if we can pair it up with um, uh, Thunder Punch this next turn from a Dragon Dance Klefki going for a reflect not the ideal move that we want to be seeing there uh, but we do get the Dragon Dance up. Um, it does mean that we're going to be able to pressure the, the Kyogre, but the Reflect really hurting us a lot there. We're probably going to see screens from this Klefki. I would imagine that's the the aim of the game for my opponent. Uh, we'll go for a Thunder Punch into the Kyogre regardless anyway. I think that's always a good option, and we'll try and get some damage onto this Klefki with an Earth Power. Um, I think Klefki here probably goes Light Screen. I'd imagine, yeah, it makes a lot of sense to do that. Uh, the Thunder Punch is still going to do a, a good chunk of damage to this Kyogre. Um, so it should take us out of, of Water Spout. What? Okay. We're back in business. <laughs> reflect. What is Reflect? Reflect doesn't matter a damn thing with that uh, Tough Claws boost. And even after the Light Scream, we're still getting good damage onto the Clef Key. So... Kyurem putting in some nice work, Charizard X putting in some nice work already, so uh, getting rid of the Kyogre is one of the biggest problems that we had for this team. We've got all these steals to deal with, but I mean, yeah, ordinarily, if we had Flare Blitz on Charizard X, we'd be sitting in a much better position, but we don't. We don't have it, but my opponent doesn't know that. We've got Fusion Flare though on, uh, on our good old Kyurem, so that's alright. Um... Do we just go Thunder Punch into Klefki? I think, yeah, let's try that. And what have we got in the back? Because Kingler, Palkia, hmm, not the best options against uh, the Metagross, but we can go Fusion Flare into the Metagross and try and get some damage onto it there. Metagross just going for a Protect. It's not revealing the Mega Evolution yet. And then Klefki going for Thunder Wave. It is gonna target down into the Charizard. Uh, slots down quite considerably uh, but we'll get the thunder punch off is it going to be enough this time behind the reflect Ooh, not quite not quite so Klefki going to stick around for at least another turn which is fine um, uh, did we just thunder punch I'm not really worried about the Klefki right now to be honest um, so I'm going to double up into the Metagross fusion flare and the thunder punch to try and get some damage off Thunder Punch is probably our best option on Charizard to hit the Metagross. If we had Flare Blitz, obviously that would be the one thing that we could utilize and probably pick up an easy one hit KO, uh, even behind a Reflect. Um, Mega, Mega Metagross revealing itself. Um, 
Going to be able to do some big damage to Kurum, but I'm confident Kurum can take at least an Iron Head. Yeah, there's a Thunder Wave coming out from the, the Kalefki here. Thunder Wave, one of those um, options that we rarely see in the format now. Uh, wow, Meteor Mash, can we take this? I don't know if we can. Nah, no, nah, we can't. We can't take... Oh, and it gets the boost as well, are you kidding? Oh, that is not what we want to be seeing. We do get the Thunder Punch off, which is, which is nice. But at the same time, it's not really helping us out too much. Uh, we're going to have to try and bring Palkia in and go for this trick room. Um, protect Charizard. Definitely this next turn. Because <sighs> I think the Metagross probably has Stomp and Tantrum. That attack boost really doesn't help us out at all. Ah, it's really, really frustrating. Really frustrating. But, I mean, what can you do? What can you do? You just have to deal with it as a Thunder Wave. Into Palkia. Um, I'd imagine stomping into the Charizard. Yeah. Yeah. And we get the Trick Room up. Okay. It's not too bad. <coughs> um, and the Thunder Wave obviously helping us out now. Um, does the Metagross protect? I feel like the Metagross probably protects here. I'm going to go Hydro Pump into it anyway, and I want to try and take down this Klefki with Charizard. So I'm going to Thunder Punch the Klefki, take away those screens, because the light screen, the reflect will run out this next turn. Okay, we're going to see it. Oh, Sogaleo going to hit the field. Ah, oh, if we only had Flare Blitz. If we only had Flare Blitz. Hydro Pump, because of the light screen, not doing as much damage to Charizard. Paralyzed, we're going to see the Stomping Tantrum now. Uh, I don't know if Charizard will be able to take this, to be honest. But, yeah. If not, then we do get we do get Kingler in. So, uh, Kingler will be able to do some work. Now, in Trick Room, it's, it's in a really nice place to start doing some stuff. Um, has the Reflect worn off yet? Or has that Klefki got, like, Light Clay? Uh, it's definitely got the Light Clay. How long have we got left for it? Uh, oof, yeah, lots, lots and lots and lots. Let's Crab Hammer Metagross and go for a Hydro Pump into Sogaleo. Try and get some damage off there. I mean, it's not out of our grasp just yet. The Sogaleo is causing us issues for sure. But I still think if we can, we can deal with the Metagross. It's obviously protecting. We'll be able to get it in the next turn. But if two Hydro Pumps can get the Sogaleo, hmm, stall out these Trick Room turns. <sighs> okay. It's kind of working in our advantage and, and not as well. As our Trick Room turns are depleting, their screens are depleting as well. Crab Hammer will be enough to take it down. Uh, it's just about, like, the Sogaleo. The good thing is, Kingler is, is more defensively bulky than it is specially defensively bulky. So, against the Sogaleo, that's primarily a physical attacker, we should be able to take these attacks a bit better. It's just about landing our Hydro Pumps and not being paralyzed and lots of other things in between. Now we should be able to get the mech. Okay, Metagross gonna switch out. We want to try and stall this Trick Room out a bit, sacrificing the Clef Key to come in here, uh, which will go down to a Crab Hammer. Hydro Pump does connect. Can we two hit KO that? Oh, we're just gonna miss out on it, you know. Mm, bit of a shame. Bit of a shame. Uh, where's, what's the Silver Leo gonna do though now? That's the interesting thing. So Zen Headbutt, okay. I mean, Kingler will take this, uh, and pretty comfortably as well. The Reflect now wearing off. Uh, the problem is, uh, the trick room is going to end before we're able to really capitalize on anything. Um, hmm. I mean, we go Crab Hammer into Metagross anyway. We could double the Sogaleo slot. I feel like that might be an idea to do Crab Hammer, Sogaleo, Hydro Pump, Sogaleo. Let's do it. There's probably double protect coming. Um, but if they try and get cheeky and don't protect the Sogaleo, we do punish that. But they do, do, do go for that, so <coughs> that's fine. Um, nice screen, okay. I mean, the one thing we could potentially do is ally switch in Trick Room. Um... If we can get a Trick Room up, it will be huge for us. And then I think we can close this one out. <coughs> and the light screen, I think, is just worn off. So there's 
the little crab doing the ally switch thing, being a pest as always. So there's Zen Headbutt going into, yeah, into the park here, trying to go for that power fusion and stomping into, yeah, perfect. If we can get the trick room up, we get it up. Yes, we do it. It's fine. Okay, we can we can win this one. The crab and the dragon. There's a story for you. Hydro Pump Sogaleo will go for the Crab Hammer into the Metagross. Um, <clears throat> and that's what we needed. That's definitely what we needed. Hydro Pump does connect. No light screen. Is enough. Crab Hammer coming out. The Crab, King Crab, going to pick up a big victory for us today. No! Oh, are you kidding? <laughs> the Crab Hammer misses. Oh. We've still got chances though. Okay, uh, we need to go Hydro Pump. Come on, Crab, why are you doing this to us? Crab, don't do this to us. Hydro Pump, okay, Parquet picking up the victory. King Crab, he's still King Crab to me. Uh, but a very, very nice way for us to kick off the episode today. I'm way happier with that. Um, it pulls us to four wins, five losses. So we've still got a chance to tie this up for the end of the week and give this team an exceedingly good send off. The Charizard there was incredible, um, doing so much damage to that Kyogre, even behind a Reflect. That Tough Claws boost, Thunder Punch was amazing, so uh, really big props to Charizard there. Um, and the team, just in general, just did well. Pocket even did well there, didn't it? Didn't get paralyzed, fully paralyzed once, which uh, I didn't want to mention in case it did jinx us, which is always the way, isn't it? So uh, we'll get into our next one. And um, hopefully we can finish up level this week. I mean, that would be the the dream. And what we're going to do is go back to our old, your favourite. You know, I'm I'm too bad for this. And across my version two, we're going to give this team a good send off and try and do make some waves. Uh, hopefully we can bring the God of War and do something with it in this next game. Being it'd be incredibly good if we can um, get it working and uh, try and, and do some work with it because I feel like. It deserves some some time in the spotlight, but the crab has been doing well all week. Uh, Salazzle's had its time; it's done well. Uh, Haxorus was amazing when we had it in the team. Shiftery did some work. Uh, Dialga was really good when we had it in the team. Palki is getting better as the week's going on. Kurum's been solid, and uh, like I say, the God of War. It is your time to shine. Looks like it's going to take a little bit longer to find an opponent than I would have liked. So what I'll do is just cut right now, and we'll come back as soon as we find our next opponent. And we got our next opponent in the episode, and maybe our final one of the week, so let's get straight into team preview. Looks like a good one, we've got Ninetales, uh, Kanto Ninetales, then we've got Cherum, we've got Groudon, Smeagol, Tapu Lele, and Rayquaza. So we've got a Raydon combination, uh, something that's picking up a little bit of popularity now at the back end of the Ultra series, a very strong combination. Then you've got the Cherum there, the boost special attack I think, and special defense of Groudon when the sun's up, I'm pretty sure, uh, with that flower gift ability. Uh, the Smeagol's going to be the disrupt Pokemon of the team, uh, for sure. Uh, trick Room all day long. If we can get a Trick Room up, it really will make things so much easier for us. We'll go Salazzle, we'll go Palkia. Um, I mean, Dragon Dance wouldn't be bad on Charizard either, to be honest. Uh, we could kind of go down that route to begin with um, and then go down a Palkia and God of War route late game potentially um, you know what might be better actually is just going not for Salazzle because I think the Lele could potentially lead going Palkia and um, hmm. do we want Salazzle or do we want Kira because Kurum could also be quite good late game here, I think. I think we'll go Kurum, and we'll go down a uh, Mega Charizard X route. So, good luck to my opponent. Let's try and do this one. And we'll bring the God of War. I just worry a little bit about uh, the Smeagol leading here, um, and potentially sporing all over us, knowing that we've got, we're quite vulnerable to sleep. Uh, if my opponent identifies that in team preview then it could be pretty tricky for us and uh, I think just having the, the scarfed option as a lead is it's just nice anyway we're gonna see Smeagol and Groudon come out so we could have went with that Salazzle fortunately we didn't but it's fine um we're gonna have to contend with at least fake out here yeah, we're gonna see Trace we get the moody moody boost so that's good we always like a bit of moody guard of war don't we 
there is Primal Groudon. I think the nice thing here is that we can potentially just get rid of the Smeagol here. We can like double into it if we want to. Um, I'm kind of more inclined to protect Charizard though than anything else. Um, you can also trick Smeagol as well. Mm. We could Destiny Bond and hope that the Groudon takes us out and get rid of the Groudon, which would make it a lot easier. Uh, it just makes it a bit more difficult to get rid of the Smeagol, I think. Uh, I'm going to side Shock it just to get damage onto it, just knowing how disruptive it can be. Um, okay, it's going to switch out. Cherum going to hit the field. Ha ha ha. Okay. Good old Cherum coming in. Cherum transforms. Charizard protects. We could have went for a Dragon Dance. Or maybe we see a Rock Slide. I don't know. Psy Shock. Going to get it into the Cherum. It should do a nice chunk of damage. Oh, it is Rock Slide as well. Okay. Uh, not ideal. Oof, God of War definitely taking too much damage there. They do get a Moody Boost. Special Attack would be amazing. Accuracy Foul. Do we keep Guardy for later? Maybe that's a better option. Um, because we could Mega Evolve and Dragon Dance now. Uh, we will be able to take a Rock Slide and potentially bring in... Um, Bring in Cura. Yeah, I'm more inclined to do that. Although Parquet would have been better for taking the Rock Slide. Hopefully you don't see a Precipice Blades here. That's the one thing we will want to see. I want to see a Rock Slide come out. Um, so let's see what my opponent goes for. Sharon protecting, okay, and that's fine. We'll get the Dragon Dance. I mean, the Rock Slide's still gonna hurt. It's just not gonna kill us like it would have done pre-Mega Evolution. The so Rock Slide does hit. Oh, man, that is disgusting. That damage is crazy. Um, hmm. We might have to just get rid of the Cherum here um, and then go for. Oh, man. We're gonna have to just go Ice Beam, I think, into Groudon. We could go Icy Wind. Icy Wind's probably better. Man, I don't know if we're gonna be able to win this one now. We're taking too much damage from this Groudon without really getting much in return from it. We'd have been better going Destiny Bond locking with, with God of War to take this, this Groudon down. And then preserving Charizard for later in the game, I think, uh, to deal with the other threats that aren't Groudon with Rock Slide. I mean, most of the time, Groudon doesn't have Rock Slide, so we get away with that. Cherum getting a double protect as well, that's perfect, isn't it? <laughs> Screw you, Cherum. The Rock Slide, if it misses, that would be ideal, but I just can't see it happening now. And there's no way we've, we've got a way to, to, um, to, to beat the Groudon. Rock Slide hits, it's going to take everything down, obviously with the attack boost giving it uh, the Rock Slide even more. And this feels like a little bit of a whimper to the end of the episode, which is really sad, uh, but we're not out of it just yet. Um, the Double Protect there definitely is frustrating, but what can you do? And I don't think Parker can win this by itself. I mean, the, the chair is probably not putting on too much offensive pressure. Um, get desolate land. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's protect Palkia. I mean, do we protect or do we just go Trick Room? Um, I kind of want to protect, to be honest. And then Destiny Bond. <sighs> ah, this is frustrating. Helping hand. Yeah, there we go. Watch your precipice blades and miss. This would have been the better thing to do, like turn one and turn two. Oh 
Okay, it does hit. So we'll be able to take down the ground one. It depends what my opponent's... So it'll be the Rayquaza, I would imagine. And maybe... <clears throat> maybe we can do it. I just don't see... Like, if we can take down the Rayquaza, I think we can win this game. Because I don't feel like the Smeagol puts on any offensive pressure at all. Um, the Cherim, it depends what it's got. We know it's got Protect, we know it's got Help in Hand. Has it got a grass type attack and a move? I don't know. It's likely to. Um, ah, this is frustrating now. It's definitely going to be the Ray, I think. If it's not the Ray, then there is a, more of a chance. But the, this is the problem. Then the Smeagol comes in, can spore us, and cause all sorts of problems that way but they're not putting on offensive pressure so there's, there's not really much threat of them knocking us out they've got to really <clears throat> adjust from here unless the, the cherim has it's got sunny day wow okay sunny day cherim huh yeah okay it's probably got solar beam i don't really understand i mean for this specific like situation the sunny day works but outside of that i don't really see it being that optimal a move to have on cherim to be honest in this in this format with like the super weathers but uh, there's this ball so it, it comes down to whether or not the cherim's got solar beam or an attacking move or not um if it has then it gives my opponent a chance seed bomb it's not even solar beam And moody. And the Smeagol's going to be sashed as well, that's the problem. Um, so, like, being able to deal with this and the Cherim at the same time is just not not really going to work. And I, yeah, I, I don't think we can do this. We need at least another Pokemon to help us out here. And our sleep, like, vulnerability is just getting Tailwind Smeagol. <gasps> what is going on in this world? Hmm, Park here. Yeah. Staying asleep, gonna take another seed bomb. And we're probably gonna go down to these seed bombs, which is like the whimper going out that I didn't want, really. Moody boost, accuracy, and special defense. Um, let's go for another spatial rend into the Smeagol. Hopefully, we can take it out. Uh, we could go Trick Room here, I mean, but this, I, I don't really feel anything we do now, unless the Smeagol is not sashed. <clears throat> and then we can potentially take it down but we'll have to see we will have to see here oh, let's transform okay well we might be oh transform into Cherim <laughs> double Cherim power there's one we've got one seed bomb left and we stay asleep maximum sleep turns so that is it what a crap way to go out today but you know what I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take anything away from the team that we've had this week just a horrible last game here but um, just odd things throwing us off the team on a whole has done amazing I hope you've enjoyed this week's run with the team it's been great I have had an absolutely amazing time with it we had some real highs earlier in the week we had some really good games as well we're finishing four four wins yeah four wins six losses so it's not too bad. I mean, it's not the worst. We've had worse, definitely. But next week, as I keep saying, it's going to be the week that we're going to finish positive and we're going to have some good results. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Make sure you get your nominations over on the community post uh, for next week's roulette and we'll throw the Pokemon back into the wheel and select a brand new team coming Monday. Have a fantastic weekend. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on the team for this week and what you'd like to see possibly going into next week. And uh, I will see you all on Monday for another one. So until then, take care and bye-bye.